Hey, what's up guys, Yo Hoops, and Steph Curry talks about the phrase how the Warriors are ruining the NBA. He says everybody is trying to get better and we just happen to be the ones to set the pace. We set the narrative around the league of how to structure your team and beat us. So this phrase is obviously very true because the three of their all-stars on the team were just draft picks that they obviously formed into all-stars. Then they picked up KD a few years ago and obviously they picked up DeMarcus Cousins this offseason during free agency. Now my thoughts on this is he actually is right, but yet again, it is terrible for the the league because you used to have like four or five different teams that are really good and then the rest of the NBA teams are just shitty to be honest with you. You have like the Suns that are really bad, the Nets and all these other teams. And the top main dogs in the league right now are obviously the Celtics that are coming up next season. They have a lot of good players. Even the Lakers. The Lakers are definitely going to turn it around next season with LeBron James. Any team that LeBron James is on is obviously a automatic title contender just because it's LeBron James. He always happens to find a way to make it to the playoffs and get far in the playoffs. So we'll just see how that works out next year with this young cast around him and then you have OKC and the Rockets and stuff like that. The Rockets definitely found a way to go ahead and try to dethrone the Warriors and even possibly could have done it last year if Chris Paul wasn't injured. They found a way by saying if you can't beat them, beat them at their own game. They did play tremendous defense against them and obviously made three pointers when it was necessary. They are a tremendous offensive team but yet again in game seven they did crumble against them and they missed like 27 threes was really bad bad go ahead and comment your thoughts below my thoughts are this is just very bad for the league let me know what your guys thoughts are in the comments below and also one more thing i want to talk about lebron james mural a couple hours ago there was a picture on twitter that showed lebron james mural completely covered in white paint and i thought wow somebody vandalized it again but actually turns out the original artist of the mural actually covered it up because he was tired of the controversy around it he was tired of fans coming up and trying to vandalize the mural and just said it was too much for him and just let it go so obviously he painted over it so let me know what your thoughts are should he have kept it up well just haters yeah. i don't know if it's laker or lebron haters or kobe fans or just someone who wants kobe, attention no kobe fan when he's about it. this is just a laker yeah. hater the funny thing is i painted kobe a couple years ago people like were very quick to forget that one but Personally, I find it really shitty because LeBron James is coming to the Lakers and this mural obviously is in LA. And if you're a Lakers fan and you can't appreciate LeBron James, then he shouldn't have come to the team in the first place because any team would be lucky enough to get him on their roster. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are on that below. Anyways, go ahead and comment below your favorite NBA player in the league right now or who you think might be a really good player in the next few years. Go ahead and comment that below. And also make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. But with that being said, I'm out guys. Peace. Thank you for watching.